Hi guys, my name is Amaya Everett. I'm going to Howard University and this is a quick video on my move-in day. Okay, so basically, um, I my aunt's about an hour away and all of my dorm stuff was at her house. We were supposed to fill up the car and leave about an hour before move-in time, which is 10 a.m. And it was nine when we woke up, so we were a little late. We rushed out the house and we got everything. These are the things that we put in the trunk. That's my dad pulling up the car. It was about an hour ride. That's my ID, my bag, and my cart. We filled it up. It was about four suitcases of stuff and the elevator took one at a time, but it was nice and fun. We unpacked, got ready. There's my roommate in Asia. The biggest advice would be to have your parents stay like one extra day or at maybe two because you're gonna realize that you don't have everything you need like 100%. Your charger might be too short, you need a longer one, you forgot a hairbrush, you need a shoe rack, and it's easier if you just go out with your parents and grab that type of stuff. So let me tell you, I did go out probably about to five different stores after I moved in because I thought I had everything, but I definitely did not. Um, so that's what I would advise. This is my bed being made my closet we headed to half smoke it was a great restaurant i got the cinnamon french toast i think they specialize in breakfast but they did have some brunch items as well we walked around dc it was beautiful i chose howard because of its location its community dc's views are definitely a part of that this is target and we took a quick marshall's run just to grab some extra stuff I messed around with my pillows, tried to make it look good. We went downstairs and to the Barnes & Noble's next door. I had a bunch of merch. We kind of got to choose some stuff. My dad decided on a Howard Dad license plate. When you get to school, everyone's going to have a lanyard um, to hold their keys, to hold their card. And if you're able to remember something like that, that's like good on you. Like definitely do that but i have a hard time remembering purses remembering lanyards remembering things such like, like those but i don't have a hard time remembering my phone because it's always with me so getting one of those pouches that are on the back is super simple it's super easy it holds all my cards it holds about three cards and the key that i need to get into my room so i would say it's the most efficient and easiest way to have everything on you at all times Genuinely, making friends can be really difficult, but it's really easy when you keep your door wide open um, on move-in day. You talk to all the girls on your floor, get their numbers, get their Instagram, get their Snapchat. Make sure you're on it. Even if you're a little introverted, just make sure that you try your best at least to respond to people because people are going to talk to you. There are going to be a lot of people that start the conversation. Just make sure that you're continuing it. Um, but that's the easiest way to make friends at first and that's how I did it. Um, currently I've been hanging out with a bunch of girls on my floor and I really enjoy it. You guys are all together, you have movie nights. It's really perfect so that's what I would recommend. Me and some of the girls on my floor went out, we walked around the campus, we came back to the dorms, it was really sweet. Okay, so the shower situation. I feel like no one really talks about it but make sure you have your shower shoes on so gross if you don't they do i have communal bathrooms i don't have it to myself um they do keep it like clean i think they clean it about every week so it's it's decent but i don't know i don't want to complain because the shower is always hot it's really nice um but what i would recommend is to get yourself a shower caddy make sure i have one of the plastic ones with the holes in it and i really like it because it's sturdy and nothing's falling out um you know, like having everything, I kind of just switch it out because it doesn't have like unlimited space. So I switch out the stuff that I know I need for the shower I'm about to take and then can switch it out later if I'm taking a different shower where maybe I'm washing my hair or I'm shaving, something like that. So these are the showers in my dorm, they're really nice. And this is the final look. Bye guys.